So now that you have a Google presentation, what can you do with it? Let's put it on our blog. So from the sixth grade Moodle, okay, you're in sixth grade science, go over to the side here where it says Chimicum's Google Docs. If you're already logged in, it'll go right to the Google Docs for your account. But if you're in another account, go up to the top here and select the account, go to sign out, and then sign back in with your team's account, your water quality team. Then go to your presentation, find it, click on it. Once you're at your presentation, oops, go over to the top right hand side where it says share, bring down the drop down menu, go to publish slash embed. Once you're there, you can um, choose the size for your player. Um, medium is slightly large. It's a width of 555, but you can use it. I'm going to go with small because 410 is just what I need. Um, I don't mess with these things because I don't want the slideshow to start as soon as it loads because your viewer may not be paying attention. And I don't care if it restarts. I'm just going to copy the code here by highlighting it first. Then I can go to edit copy. All right, so I've got the code copied. Now let's log into our blog. We're going to go to articles right here. And if you're on an iMac or a netbook, or even on the iPad, if you're in this graphical view, get out of it. Go to the text view. This one is for everyone. Give it a title. Go into the big box here and paste it. Don't paste it down here where it says podcast URL. You want it right here. Now, here's a trick to making it work. If you don't get rid of this S after the HTTP, it won't work. That S makes it secure, and we want to make it so it's not secure because it'll be blocked. So once you've done that, Go to Assignments, drop down Menu, and choose Water Quality, Final Conclusion, and Data. Go to Request Publishing. Go to Save Article. And you're done. Now I'm going to get rid of my old one because that one didn't work. Let's go to Water Quality, check it, make sure the HTTP has no S. And then you just got to wait for Mr. G, that's me, to approve it. So once Mr. G has had a chance to um, approve your blog, go to your blog, you've got to view it, go to click on view my blog, and then reload it. And once the page reloads, voila, there is your, hey, not there, there is your presentation. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? So check it out. The person can play. I think it takes three seconds to advance to the next slide, but I'd rather just move it myself, read it, and then move on to each one. And the links work. I know. Can you believe that? Well, of course, you probably knew that. But that's what we want it to do. We want the links to work and everything. So, and if they click here, it becomes full screen. Yeah. See? You can actually read this. Take a look. See, see, see. You can read it. Isn't that great? So that concludes this presentation on how to upload a um, presentation to your blog. Gonzalez out.